ਇਹਨੇ ਸੋਚਿਆ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਮਨ ਬਦਲ ਗਿਆ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਤੋਛੇ ਖਾਨੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਸਿੰਘਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਿ ਕੇ ਇੱਕ ਕੀਮਤੀ ਦੁਸ਼ਾਲਾ ਮੰਗਾਇਆ ਮੰਗਾ ਕੇ ਬਾਨੋਂ ਦੇ ਸਿਰ ਤੇ ਰੱਖ ਕੇ ਕਹਿਣ ਲੱਗੇ ਪੁੱਤਰ ਹੋਵੇ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਕਿਦਾਂ ਦਾ ਚੰਗਾ ਜਾਂ ਮਾੜਾ ਨਿਕਲੇ ਅੱਜ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਮੈਂ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੀ ਮਾਂ ਸਮਝਾਂਗਾ ਸਾਰੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਤੂੰ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਆਪਣਾ ਪੁੱਤਰ ਸਮਝੀ ਮੈਂ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਧਰਮ ਦੀ ਮਾਂ ਸਮਝਾਂਗਾ ਐਸੇ ਖਾਲਸੇ ਦੀ ਸਾਜਨਾ ਦਸ਼ਮੇਸ਼ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਕੀਤੀ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਮਨੁੱਖ ਗੁਰੂ ਦਾ ਓਟਾ ਆਸਰਾ ਲੈ ਲੈਂਦਾ ਫਿਰ ਡੋਲਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹ ਘਰੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਰੋਂਦੀ ਜਾਫਰ ਬੇਗ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਐਸੀ ਸ਼ਕਤੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇ ਘਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਸ ਦਸ਼ਮੇਸ਼ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਦੇ ਸਿੰਘਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਹਰਾ ਸਕੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਵਿਕਾਰਾਂ ਤੇ ਕਾਬੂ ਪਾ ਲਿਆ ਧੀਰਜ ਬਣ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਵਿਚਾਰਾਂ ਕਰਦਿਆਂ ਬਿਆੰਤ ਭੁੱਲਾਂ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਮੇਰੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਕਾ ਜਾਣ ਕੇ ਹਿਰਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਥਾਂ ਦੇਣੀ ਜੀ ਅਗਲਾ ਜੋ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਸੈਕਟਰੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਆਪ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਰਵਣ ਕਰਾਉਣਗੇ ਦਾਸ ਦੀਆਂ ਭੁੱਲਾਂ ਚੁੱਕਾਂ ਖੇਮਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਫਤਿਹ ਪ੍ਰਵਾਨ ਕਰੋ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਟੁਡੇ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਗੈਦਰਡ ਟੂ ਕਮੈਮੋਰੇਟ 320th ਖਾਲਸਾ ਸਾਜਨਾ ਦਿਵਸ ਆਲਸੋ ਨੋਨ ਐਸ ਬਸਾਖੀ ਸੈਲੀਬ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਟੁਡੇ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਵੈਰੀ ਆਨਰਡ by the presidents of our honorable bill shorten leader of opposition shadow minister for indigenous affairs and aboriginal and torres strait state alliance leader member for mary brown who is over here along with his wife to celebrate this special occasion we are really thankful to them that they have taken time from their busy schedule and are here to celebrate this special occasion we are also thankful to member of revstan kevin connolly and also thankful to honorable michel oran member for Mal- parliament from greenway for visiting us today just little bit information about this day Khalsa Sajna Devas honors the formation of Khalsa and is a symbol of our commitment commitment to our families commitment to Sikh code of conduct as most importantly commitment to the society to create a society free of caste creed and gender discrimination This day celebrates the fact that all humans are given the spirit and opportunity to live lives of courage sacrifice and equality guru sahib has intention was to create a social code of strip caste system that had degraded the society in india at that time message is a powerful reminder of teachings of tolerance equality humility and active concern for others rooted in the spirituality positive approach of life chardi kala and in universal well being subadda pala guru gobind singh ji also gave six a unique indisputable and distinct identity on this day in 1699 this distinct identity also constitute five symbols worn by all baptized six of both sexes and are popularly known today as five k's or five kakas today as our leaders are over here so i would like to bring their attention that we need their help to get this because we are having problems with our dastar turban and kirpan when we going outside so we need your help if you could please as you always been helping us please take this to the parliament and we've been fighting we've been requesting to the past governments to get exemption for the helmet if you could please take into consideration we are very sure in the coming elections the labor is coming so please look into the in the end thank you once again for taking time out from your busy schedule when you become prime minister please schedule all wages to us and especially to punjab to darbar sir amar sir on your visit to india thank you now i would like to request honorable mr bill shorten please come to the stage and address the members
Wahi Guru Jika Kalse Wahi Guru Jiki Fate. I understand Fasiki is a time for faith and family. And Chloe, my wife, and I thank you very much for welcoming us to your Gurudwara this evening. In particular, I would like to thank Dr. Surinder Singh and the leaders and members of the Australian Sikh Association for making this wonderful visit possible. Vasiki stands as a commemoration of a stand against oppression. It marks a moment when a people stood up and spoke for their faith. But I also understand that today's date, April the 13th, marks 100 years since the terrible massacre at Jalinawala Bag. I think it is worth the community noting that this week in London, Prime Minister Theresa May has recognised that this was a shameful scar on Britain's history in India. We know in Australia a vital part of the healing process is facing up to our past and telling the truth. I think that Vasiki is a marvellous opportunity for all Australians to learn much more about the Guru Gobind Sa Singh. I understand that he left this world 311 years ago, but his brilliance, his wisdom, the power of his example reaches across the centuries to the current time. Because Guru Gobind Singh's teachings and values are not something in the history books, they still guide us now. Equality, peace, treasuring happiness above the storing up of material possessions. These values have never been more relevant or more important than at the moment. I am also pleased to be here with Chloe to celebrate Vasiki because of the special place that the Australian Sikh community have in Australian history. It will be in 12 days time on Anzac Day that Australians will gather to pay new honour to Australia's oldest promise, lest we forget. And lest we forget that on those rocky mountains of Gallipoli, Australian soldiers and Sikh warriors stood together. It's interesting that in the 2006 census, the measurement of the Australian population, Sikhism was not in the top 20 religions in Australia. But today, Sikhism is the fifth biggest faith in our nation. Obviously, this says that the faith here is one of the fastest growing religions in Australia. But it tells me not only that the faith is fast growing, it tells me that your community, your identity is strong and proud. Like all of those parents tonight outside watching the young ones recite their alphabet, connected not only to this country but the country of their forebears. It shows me that this is a faith and a people and a community who will preserve the traditions, the language which, and your values and the values of community service to caring for the elderly. As I conclude tonight, I would like to make this observation. I think that Sikh values are Australian values. 
that is love of your family, helping your neighbours, kindness in another's need. Our country is stronger when we celebrate the values we share, when we embrace diversity, when we embrace multiculturalism. I take pride, we should take pride in the fact that the people of Australia have a story which begins with the world's oldest living culture and it includes every culture in the world. I feel recharged and reinvigorated that when I leave here, that all of us have a job, a job to preserve peace and harmony and equality in our society. All of us have a responsibility to stand up against hate speech, to stand up against racism. You should never be marginalised because of what you wear. And if we are to form a government, I will take on board the points of the submission that was just made before I spoke. In this country, you should never be vilified for how you worship or the God to whom you worship. Your children should never be bullied because they are the inheritors of a proud community and an extensive and rich story. In Australia, freedom of speech never means hate speech. There is no place in our society for prejudice, not online, not in our political debate, not in our society. I understand that for these words to have meaning, then we must work together. Michelle Rowland, who is here tonight, is a true ambassador of your community in the National Parliament. She is a champion for Multicultural Australia and she's a champion for your community. And she again, as we entered here tonight, reminded me, we must repair the family visa system. If you have parents and grandparents to whom you want to bring to this country for a period of time to see your children and their grandchildren, then we should make this happen and not put obstacles in its way. Sikh values are Australian values. Love of family, respect for equality, seeking harmony and peace in our community. My wife and I are very privileged to witness the strength of this community, to witness the commitment of this community. Wahi Guru Jika Kalsa. Wahi Guru Jiki Fate. Thank you very much, Mr. Bill Shorten. I really appreciate your kind words about the Sikhism, about our values, and I really regard you because every time we took the Nagar Kirtan street prayer to the city, you were one of them over there, and you always spoke in our school. Really, thank you very much for that. Next. I would like to invite our Honourable Krishna Roland, our local Member of Parliament. Please come to the stage and address the members for two minutes, please. Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh. Thank you as always uh, for your hospitality here this evening and it's a particular delight to join you not only with Chloe and Bill Shorten, uh, but also on the occasion of Vasaki. It is an amazing thing that Vasaki celebrates not only the birth of a religion and a culture, it is actually celebrating the birth of an entire people that now spans the globe, uh, that is prominent in business, in academia, in politics, in every walk of life in every country on earth. And I'm so proud to be associated with the Australian Sikh Association and have been since I was first elected to the local council in 2004. And I'm so grateful to the hospitality that you've continued uh, to show me and my family over the years. And I'll end by saying, uh, even casting my mind back uh, to last year and marching in the Visaki procession, as I've done over many years in the Sydney CBD, and to have people come up and ask what we are marching about, 
and to say that I am marching uh, with Sikh people celebrating such an important occasion. It makes me feel so proud that I have been part of this community and that you continue to show me such hospitality and for that I'm very grateful. So I wish you and your families all the blessings of Vasaki. Wahiguru ji ka khalsa, Wahiguru ji ki fate. And next I would like to request Mr. Kevin Conley, please come to the stage and speak to the members of the community for two minutes. Thank you so much for having me here this evening and may I wish everybody a very happy Vaisakhi. I concur with previous speakers about the values which the Sikh community bring to this wider community here in New South Wales and Australia. I sincerely respect the contribution that this community has made over recent decades as your numbers have grown in this region. Those values have built a stronger, safer and happier community here because of the commitment that you have and the faith that you so clearly adhere to. And that faith is a great value. It anchors you in a, a troubled and disturbing world in some ways. And for all of us, we need to hang on to those things which are really of great importance. And faith clearly identifies those. And it seems to me that we are so rich here in this part of the world because we have embraced and welcomed people like the Sikh community into our midst, who bring with them the wisdom of the ages from India, who bring with them the strength of culture and family and commitment to the Khalsa that Vaisakhi celebrates. The foundation of the Khalsa in 1699 on the basic premise of the dignity of the human being and the equality of all is something foundationally important to all of us and something which I hope Australia is benefiting from today. So thank you very much for sharing this occasion with us. Thank you very much for having me here tonight and please all enjoy a very happy Vaisakhi.
like a family member of our community, member of Greenberg, Mr. Rowland, and mem state member for the Brisbane, Mr. Connolly. Well, I would like to wish you all the best. I wish you, I would wish you all the year to cross the line, and then we would like to see that you come back when you are in the previous age. Our wishes are with you. And I hope when you are in that state, you look after the community which you have been doing for years. You have been a friend of the Sikh community and we appreciate that time. Now, I would like to talk about our local member for Green Bay, Michelle Rowland. She has been a long-standing friend of the Sikh community. Whenever we went to her, she was always there, very supporting, and tried to do the best. I know there are times when things couldn't be done and there's disappointment from the community, but we know that things cannot be done 100% of the time. But we still appreciate your presence here with us all the time when we wanted you. And raising our issues. And we cherish this friendship. Now we are looking for next milestone after 18th of May. Mr. Connolly, who again, Liberal, State Liberal Member for Riverston, he's always there when we want him. But this, as Jasmine has raised, that time from October to now, I know been very hectic for him and the issue of helmet still pending. I've spoken to him downstairs when he was in a school function. He has promised to take that up because government is in a settling stage and he is going to take, he promised me that we'll take with the full thrust because that issue is the state government issue. Once we go downstairs, we're going to talk about a few community issues with the bill and we'll ask to re resolve those issues whether it relates to identity or our place in the multiculturalism. Of course, that through our member, she's like a family member for the Sikh community, Michelle, and we would like to thank you on behalf of the community that you always has been there. But then again, as Jasmeet Inda said, we have to raise those issues because we come under bombardment, we come under a lot of pressure from the community that this needs to be done. Today on this special day, Guru Gobind Singh Ji has given us identity, as Jasmeer has said. We stand out. What that stand out means, tolerance, service for humanity. We all, Guru Gobind Singh gave us a message that we are all kids of one father. We are all children of one father. Irrespective of religion, we are all the same. So, I will enforce that point to my community and upon myself that we should service the community that with that feeling irrespective of our caste, creed, religion, where we live. Australia is our home now. That's where we work for, for the betterment of this country. At the same time, Australian government is helping us to keep our culture, to keep our values where we come, on, come from. So that's very important. As we have seen, Bill and Chloe working. They adopted and did the same thing what we were doing. That's a sign of multiculturalism. That's a sign of a leader which way is going to lead us. So he respect and values our uh, culture and the way we do our bowing or respect to the Guru Granth Sahib. So these are the points we have to take and move forward. And at the same time, Whatever issues we face in the community will be coming to you, Bill, will be coming to you, Michelle, and then the cave for the state. So, again, in the end, I wish you all a happy Basaki and hope that we will all take the message of equality, tolerance, love for this mankind as we have been doing from ASA platform, open days where we involve all the local community as one who come to the Gurdwara and 
in our charity work, we always take the community as one. And again, in the end, happy Vesakhi to all. Wahiguji ka khalsa, Wahiguji ka khalsa.